Hello YouTube, this is Dadmar1079 bringing you a Will the Bullshit video. As you can see, I started on the beginning screen because I had just recently gotten two new ships thanks to that of the help of the coupons that you could get. I didn't had Lee didn't have enough to get a tier five, but I got a tier four and a tier six. And I shall show you to them right now. There you are, as you can see, the battle cruiser the hood in the Italian battleship. I'm not even going to try to pronounce it, but it's not this one's video anyways. We're going to be taking a look at the legendary hood, since we are in that of London, England, since there's the London bridges right there. We are going to be taking a look at her first. She is that of a battle cruiser for... We've had a couple in this game and everything else. To where you can see all this good stuff about her. But yes, she is that of a battle cruiser. She was supposed to be one of three, I believe, but she was yet never built. As you can see there, she was the fastest. Had long range, most powerful most powerful ship in the Royal Navy was built on. Sorry, I'm only third. You can read the rest of it yourself. I pretty much know a little bit about her. She is a World War II era battle cruiser. She was being built during the war, but then she never saw combat in it. Kind of like the battleship, the tier 5 battleship I wanted, Arizona. Built during the war, she was. She, I think she was fully combat capable for trials and everything being done, but the war had already breached its armistice and no longer needed to see combat. Battle Cruiser Hood, I believe, here is the same thing. She probably was the most powerful thing that the Royal Navy had at the time, hence why when World War II happened, they couldn't spare her. And plus, from my knowledge, she was also a, fl a, sh a showing ship, too, to show the might. I think I heard like some videos of her that she is was that schoolboys knew her design specifications because of how famous she was and even like she had like cock they said with her back how it was where her aft guns are they could have that of cocktail parties and all that since it was big enough I guess but as you saw she had a 32 knot of speed and her and a new ship new battleship class, the King George V class, actually was with her on her, sadly, last voyage. And also, she, I believe, was the f first ship in the world to actually have missile systems, well, kind of rocket systems, put on her as a defense mechanism against aircraft. In the game, it only has like 1.5 kilo murders that can only get to it and a pot in me for a second. Sorry about that real quick. But yes, she was there with I believe it was the Prince of Wales. And I have my book out here, yes, it was Prince of Wales. She was out looking for the German battleship Bismarck. And actually, while I talk about that, let's take her in the combat for her first maiden voyage with me. But yes, she was a very famous ship. I saw a video, like, if you look up on YouTube, the war stories. Hers is out there and kind of explaining why that since World War II started, they couldn't modernize her like they wanted to. So, plunging... Fire, when she was built, was still trying to be understood. Plunging fire, I found out, is when you arc, and sh arc a shell to try and go over the armor belt and into the deck armor, which is a lot thinner than the belt armor. And plus, since she's a battle cruiser, they sacrifice armor for speed. She'll have the battleship, she'll have the armor of the gun. She'll have guns strong as a battleship, but she will not have the armor of a battleship. She's still plenty tough. 
She has the same caliber guns as Bismarck 15 inch guns, but hers was a little bit older, so didn't have the range that the Bismarck did. But her maiden voyage, her, well, one of her voyages were to go out into the Atlantic and try and stop the German battleship. They were almost going to miss her until I, until they found out, uh, until I guess a Danish destroyer saw and relayed it back to the back to the British command saying two big ships since they didn't know who they were that would be the Bismarck and Prince Eugen respectively enough and also and let me just look at a book here yes they weren't that far they were probably a few hundred miles they were probably a couple thousand miles off the coast of Iceland when the Bismarck sunk the hood and it is said the th the aft turret, I guess. Well, I'll say the back, the aft turret and stuff. Then I'm trying to think how to say it. The aft turret, I guess, if you count from the front to the back, turret number three was supposedly where, as some people call it, a magic BB struck the hood here and actually caused a magazine explosion which, kind of like the old days of a boiler explosion, there's no surviving it. That's what plagued the Arizona. Magazine explosion, Arizona popped out of the water. Survivors, and I guess survivors of the voyage on King, well, survivors of the hood and, and, the biz, and that of the Prince of Wales said that they saw a big shot of fire come out of her when she got hit and I believe it was like oh, up like over 3,000 sailors the ship is on fire. that were on board out of that many I guess it's a rough number I'm not 100% like, sure out of that like over that many only three survived from that ship from the ship being ex just detonating She's got. She's had three survivors, and I think they said she was sunk in, in pretty much almost three seconds. She sunk in seconds after that happened, and they say she, in one last defiance, she shot her main guns one last time. I think they said it was her front guns that fired one last time in defiance as she went down. I'm pretty much then struck the whole thing every ship in the Royal Navy to hunt the Bismarck down. We already won that first one. Darn, that was quick. Gonna be more information than gameplay at this rate. Need a little bit money with her. So now off to, I guess, a major battle engagement where I have to really play smart with her. But as I was saying, she that went down in seconds, like that it was then every ship that the Royal Navy had, it didn't matter. I think like Nelson and a few other battleships that they had were going to America to get upgraded for like any aircraft guns to get like bolfels on them, I believe. But then they heard it, they turned the captain said, turn them right around, we're going back. And they did. But I do agree with some of the historians, but I like to look up this type of history. If the Bismarck were to get out there and commerce raid, you put sub you just have the submarines out there and some pocket battleships and stuff. The British what they had, like destroyers and other like cruisers that they could spare, could do all that. But that if you heard of that, but yeah, if the Bismarck were to get out there and everything, those the destroyers and light cruisers that they had out there could not do anything against the battleship. They could do something against the U-boats sinking them, but the ships that they had out there protecting the 
all the supply ships that America was sending and all that, a battle, those little ships couldn't do nothing against a battleship like that. Something against a submarine? Yes, because they had depth charges. Nothing. But, as pretty much the history goes, eventually she was sunk. The, Bur the Bismarck. She was eventually sunk. I have it pretty much right here. Let's see. Yeah, King George V and Rodney, two battleships, opened fire on her. A cruiser de Orsch and Norfolk. I guess cr cruisers, maybe heavy cruisers, not 100% sure. Open fired on her. And they did eventually sink her. It says here, May 27th, 1941, she was sunk after she was ways away from the Denmark Strait. The 24th of May, 1941, the Battle of the Denmark Strait is where the Hood was fatally sunk and had that fatal little miracle BB, but eventually they did find her and they actually recovered something off of her, which was the biz the Hood's Bell. They did get it, and it's actually in a museum, a, a museum in England. So, at least you can see something of the Bismarck besides that of footage of her wreckage, which actually there's a skin for that in the game where you can get her in the Bismarck before when on their last battles, what they looked like, and how they look like. It's supposed to say how they look at the bottom of the ocean, because the bottom of the ocean it means Ooh, this is sunk. They should be destroyed. Out of the two, Bismarck looks the nicest since, well, it took nothing but, as they say, precision, just taking out guns after guns after guns. They took out. They just kept taking and taking and taking them out surgically, they said, almost. But I think the Bismarck is completely intact. There's nothing besides her turrets that fell out when she flipped over. But other than that, the Bismarck is in way better condition than the Hood. And I also think that they said that where the Bismarck sunk that she is going to probably survive a lot longer than the another famous Royal Navy, uh, another famous ship, HMS, HMS Titan, or H, yeah, t -t 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 eh, tongue broke. The Titanic. The Titanic is not going to survive. The Titanic will be, well, was how I've seen that one too. That one's going to be gone. They say probably within a hundred years. Like another hundred years or so. Whereas that of Bismarck, she'll probably be there a lot longer since I think they said she's almost the same death. But she's not like where she doesn't have the bar rusticles on them. And plus her armor's so thick compared to a cruise liner, so she's gonna be there even longer. And that's sadly the case that even the Arizona, she'll, they said, that Arizona should survive 300 years of how she is, covered in sediment and everything. The ship is and on fire. That you won't be able to see like the turret, the, the turret or number two turret sticking out anymore. But she's still doing good. The hood's doing good against this cruiser in this battleship. She sends that turning to be smart, not even the Nagato my side no more. Over penetrating some cruisers, I definitely have to do a little bit less on that one. Or since that's a merit a light cruiser, I probably have to do better. The ship is on fire! But none of the things was the hood. They said if she might have gotten upgraded, she probably could have possibly survived that encounter, but 
no one really knows, but people have made artist renderings and all that and models of how she probably would have looked if she would have gotten her update. Target penetrated. Don't sink the hood. Darn. Well, as always, we'll have we'll watch her since this is the first time she has sunk. Gotta watch her go down. And with this one, I will leave a link down in the description down below to basically the song that was also made, I think, probably after the war, or sometime maybe during it. I have no idea. I, have, I would have to look up the exact date when this song was made, but there is a song called We Gotta Sink the Bismarck, which is a good song, especially since it does give historical facts like the dates and all that and everything but overall it seems like this I'd have to get used to her since she's a lot she is a battle cruiser she has the speed of almost of an Iowa class which is not have the armor or the main battery she does have powerful guns for her for what she is but as I saw at all I had all those guns, they kept over-penetrating the hull of a late Dallas cruiser. So, I'd have to learn. Let's see what else we had on the side. Let's go and continue on with another fellowship. That's the only allied ship besides the French one. But let me see here. Hmm. Seems like also this where the Bismarck was sunk. U boats were out there as well, looking at my book. Also other raiders. If the six destroyers that were out there, I guess, helping. Actually, yeah. If Prince Eugen had stayed out there, I'm pretty sure could have stayed out there longer. But HMS Victorious, I believe, might have been the ship. Yeah. Torpedo attacked by nine swordfish torpedo bombers from HMS Victorious. Pretty much all missed. Except for one that pretty much hit her in the rudder. I, mean, I actually have my book here, War at Sea, pretty much giving maps and all that from 1939, from when the war began to the end of night, to the end of the war in 1945. This is like if you have it, you could pretty much see alongside of me. I'm on page 68 for this one and all that. Pretty much gives the map. It gives, I guess, in military terms, what time it might have been, or map court, or coordinates, or so. Pretty much right here, it pretty much gives the battle in total from the Denmark Strait down to where the battleship was almost to occupy. To occupied France, but she basically got surrounded. And two battleships, two cruisers, and they also fired more another torpedo at her too. And the battle on our end is over. Could kind of be funny, maybe if my friend gets like a King George V class battleship. We could stick together, and I could we could almost redo that, even though it's not the same ship. Let's see, yeah. We made definitely a profit, and even if not, we still would have made a quite a decent one with that little bit of a tally. But pretty much that is all I have for this one. I will try and look up in my book where the Italian battleship is from. 
I'll try and see if I can even find it since I know that the Italians, they never really left the Mediterranean. They probably left a little bit out of the Mediterranean just to meet the British out there and toward entering the Mediterranean, but other than that, I don't think they really went out, out. They had battleships, but I don't think they had, like, proper armored uh, ones and all that. Not sure. I'll look it up, and I'll read it, look up in the computer, my book, whatever I can find on it. But, that's gonna do it for all for now. I wanna thank y'all for watching. Please like and subscribe and hit that bell to notify you any time that I post a video or go live. And please leave a comment down below and tell me. Did you learn anything of me talking about this? Did you know some of this stuff? Or like that ooh, war stories YouTube thing? Did I point you in the right direction? Have you heard of it? Or do you like it if you're a war guy? It does not only just do, it does a lot of things. So go look for it and I'll also put a link in the description down below for the We Gotta Sing the Bismarck song that was pretty much made, I guess, to try and remember the hood and everything, just kind of like the Americans was Arizona, like was Pearl Harbor in, all, in Arizona and all that. But, and also I'll say this, even though I've said in the live streams that I've done the past few days, can, I am wanting to see how close I could get to maybe 100 subscribers for this year it's out. I greatly appreciate it if we could make it to that goal or if we could get as close as we can. Either way, I'll be happy either way and I will thank you all for getting me there. But for now, again, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll catch you all in the next one. See ya.